CataractCoach.com. Decimate attachment mystery. This is what I think is causing it, but we want your input too. An anonymous surgeon sent us this video and asked, when am I causing a slight decimate attachment? So this is an experienced surgeon. Nice draping, by the way. And let's see the main incision. Let's watch carefully. Looks like a good approach, good angle. So two-plane approach. I like the tunnel length. Looks pretty good. I like your incision. So there's no issues there. And then Rex is being done. And you can see this, ah, there's a little stress on decimates already. So while the Rex is being done, you can see there was a little stress there. So the good question is now, when are you having this issue? Oh, I like your forceps too, by the way, that are marked off there. And so now he'll complete the case. And at the end of the case, we're gonna see there'll be a decimated attachment. Now the phaco probe ended the eye very uh, cautiously, which I liked. Now the nuclear pieces are removed. Phaco probe's a little close to the incision, right? You could have the infusion of it help dissect off decimates, but there you see already there's a slight decimated attachment. That's the first sign of it. Okay, but the incision looks pretty good. Look at the outline of the incision there where the hydration of the stroma happened. It looks pretty good. It's a good tunnel length. It's good position. The architecture looks pretty reasonable. And now finishing up the case here, you can see there's a significant decimate attachment. Now, if you've done corneal surgery like DSEC DMEC, you know it's so easy to detach decimates, but there it is. You see the detachment already. Now the lens goes in, delivering that nice and easy into the capsule bag. That looks good. So lens insertion is often where you can get a decimate attachment when you do that twisting technique, which I don't, I'm not a fan of. I don't like that. Now at the end of the case here, going in, removing the viscoelastic, and let's see, there's the focal detachment. And it's going back into place, which is great. So what's going on here? Well, I think it has something to do with the incision architecture. The technique of surgery is otherwise pretty good, but let's talk a minute about incision architecture. So ideal is this, roof and floor are about equal um, dimensions. So you see the OCT image there, at the beginning of the case, the roof and floor relatively balanced, and that's what we want. And this is a slight two-plane incision, much like the surgeon here who submitted the video, and that does tend to work well. Now, that proper architecture ensures the wound integrity. Again, looking here, that's where the incision is, and it's a good tunnel length, so very much like our, our surgeon here. But that detachment there, as you enter the eye where decimase is, if you're not careful in placing your instruments, you can detach it. So here's looking at another one. This is a little bit of a longer incision, and you can see this has a little bit more of a curve to it where it enters the eye but we gotta be careful to not damage the decimate attachment point. Now, what's a bad incision look like? Because we gotta learn about that too, right? Here's a bad incision, and you can see, look at the architecture of it, very, very thin flap, and an abrupt change in angle, then entering the eye, and here at the end of the case, it just kinda wants to gape open. So that's not an ideal incision. That's after hydration of the incision. So you don't know what you're missing until you look at the OCT image. And then finally, if you look here, here's a decimate detachment. And again, the incision looked okay, but by going in and out of the eye and you, you, with your instruments, sometimes you can inadvertently catch where decimate uh, attaches there at the very entrance point, and you can push it off and cause this focal decimate attachment. So I think what's going on is the in and out of the incisions, not so much the incision itself. The incision itself I thought was pretty good, but it's just the way the instruments come in and out of the eye. And even then, remember, you are still, even as an expert, even, even I, on occasion, will have a patient with a small focal decimate attachment. Key is to catch it early and then make sure you don't let it extend. Thanks for watching.